Mate, you need to leave. I've told you I'm not going on. This is you all. You need to leave. This is all the public bit. It's not public. I'm bit. All right, where do you want me to go? Where that tarmac is? Yeah. I all right, all right, all right. You're going to talk to me out there? Go on. Okay. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Today we're here in Minworth, Sutton Coalfield, having a look at Europa Worldwide Group DC2. So I've not even looked up what they do here yet. Just noticed that it's absolutely huge again. Got loads of uh, trailers docked up. And they've even got these uh, stands on the front of the trailers, which I've not really seen before. It's like they're protecting the trailers from being hooked up. Hello. Look at that. Hello. What's up? Where are you going? Nowhere. You're on my property, I'm fully I'm not. I've not gone on. Where are you going? Nowhere, I'm just staying outside. You're, you're in a live truck, mate, you move back. I'm standing on the, on the grass. No, no, move back. Hold on, just give me a minute. Do you know these um, blocks that are in front of the trailers? What do they do? I've not seen them before. Do you know the blocks in front of the trailers? Who are you? What do they do? The, mate, who are you? Just tell me what they do, man. Come on. Who are you? Who are you? Yeah, I'm not sure what they do. I've got them all the way down as well. Why are you calling for backup? What was that, sorry? What's up? Can you leave, mate? Don't record me. All I've asked you one question. I've asked you to if leave. you're nice to me, I'll be nice to you. I've asked you to leave. Why don't you be nice to me, then I'll be nice to you. Let's Can start you again. Property? All I want to know is what they block them blocks do in front of the trailers. Who are you? Why are you being so, like, secretive? I'm not being secretive. Just tell you. me then. There's no need for you to be here. I'm just being interested in something that's Mr. unusual. Can I pray come down to the gatehouse, please? You don't need to call for backup, mate. I'm not, not a threat. I'm not yeah. going on. Mate, you need to leave. I've told you I'm not going on. This you is all. You need to leave. This is all the public bit. It's not public bit. All right, where do you want me to go? Where that tarmac is? Yeah. I'll all right, all right, all right. You're going to talk to me out there? Go on. Okay, that's a deal. So he wants me to just go where this tarmac is here. And then he'll talk to me, he said. But yeah, I've not seen anything like that before. It's like security is so high that they're putting a block on the trailer. But why is this barrier up? It does, it's like contradicts itself. Your, your security is either high or it's not. And if it is high, then don't leave your barrier up like that. So yeah, he was on the phone to whoever. Certainly wasn't prepared or keeping an eye out, was he? I presume he's being uh, employed by them. And we didn't see a SIA license either, did we? But I could see he was getting a bit distressed, so I decided just to come outside. Where I was standing was the pedestrian footpath bit there. There's no other way that you can get in. Oh, he's finally decided to close the barrier, has he? Now his boss is on the way. Right. Yeah, a piece from their website says, uh, Europa announces new appointment at Minworth site. Specialist 3PL logistics provider Europa Warehouse has appointed a new general manager at its Birmingham-based warehouse at Midpoint Way, Minworth. Alongside Birmingham, which is where we are now, Europa Warehouse, a division of leading logistics provider, has a warehouse in Dartford and a brand new 60 million site in Corby. We are being approached uh, right now. Maybe this is uh, somebody from across the road, but same company maybe, I don't know. You're not coming to me? No? Okay, okay. In that case, I won't put the camera on you. <laughs> Let's walk back up this pedestrian footpath to uh, tell him. My friend! My friend, and nobody came out! Mate, you 
Nobody came out. You need to leave. What's happening? You need to leave. I'm just going to take the drone over. All right, let's get some footage from the sky. Oh, you, you the guy. Yeah, let's talk out here because he, he doesn't like me being in this entrance. Where are you from? Sorry. Let's talk out here because he doesn't like me being in here. But yeah, I, I've been standing out here for ten minutes. He said somebody's come in, but nobody yeah, came. It's a soul. It's Let, let's just get to business. let's get to a point of safety. Then we'll talk. So about 10 minutes ago I arrived and I've just walked up that little, um, yeah come off the road, I've just walked up that little pedestrian footpath sign bit there, which I presumed was for people like me arriving on site and I've just uh, noticed the blocks that you put in front of the trailers, which is, I've never seen that before, it's very secure, I'm, it, I presume it's for security, but I asked the guy there and he just wouldn't give me anything, so maybe you praise him for that, for not letting any secrets on, I don't know. But yeah, I'm just here for 30 minutes. I'm going to remain outside. I don't want to come in. I told you, didn't I? I don't want to come in. And I'm just going to take my drone over. I'm going to get some lovely footage from the outside. I see you've got some doors open. And I'm going to get some footage from the air. Where are you from, sorry? I'm just a member of the public, not from anywhere. This is my day off from work. I'm here to make a video about anything I can see interesting. And today, that includes Europa. Okay. Simple as that. Not a problem. We're just, it's secure site, obviously bonded warehouse. So oh, is it? Secure. Didn't know that. So, yeah, so we just have to keep ourselves secure. Anyone, we can't just let anyone walk onto our salt. I didn't. So that's why we've got 24 hour security. Yeah. Anyone walking up to this salt, obviously from the entrance there, is company, yeah. company salt. Obviously, I was going to tell security what I'm doing, but the first thing I noticed was them blocks. So I just, it's just in, within my nature. If I see something interesting, I'm going to ask about it. But yeah, so can you just that, confirm what they are? It's just to stop the trailer, obviously, moving forward, we'll stop a driver taking a trailer while we've got people on the back of that trailer. So it's an additional secure, um, a safety feature. It's nothing to do with security. No, it'll stop a driver coming in to take the trailer. So obviously we have to get a forklift to remove it. Or it'll stop anyone on the trailer actually having a trailer, a truck remove the trailer while the people on the back of the trailer. Because I thought when the airline is disconnected, the air brakes go on to the trailer and that stops it from moving anyway. Not necessarily. So obviously you'll see it stops on the bottom. Stop, stop the trailer moving forward if the brakes ever fail. So you've actually got stops on the wheels and on the air. So the thing on the end with the number, that's not actually stopping the chocks are. No, that's to stop the truck hooking up to it and driving off. Oh, wow. So not only have you got the chocks on the wheels, yeah. you've got the, the extra safety feature to stop the hookup, the, the fifth wheel being yeah. used. To stop anyone hooking up to it while we've potentially got people on the back. And you've so got the got fact that... Light, green light as well. And you've got the lights, and you've got the fact that the airline's disconnected and the shunt button hasn't been pressed. Yeah. You've got, you're, you're like majorly safe... Has, have you had a, what's made you do that? Have you had an accident? No, we've just heard of other people's accidents. You get the health and safety website, so you get things like that, and then we have to make sure all of our staff are secure and safe. It's great to see, but it's very, very unusual. I go to a lot of these places, and no one's done that. We're just absolutely... Yeah, you're brilliant. We, so, so we, when... We do that, we report near misses to prevent accidents. We get everything like that, just to make sure we're fully prepared. There you go. I'm here. If, if I notice... here, it will raise it to us. That's why I'm coming. I'm a facilities manager. Sure yeah. Now, if you need a visit, or if you was a company or something, we would give you a full visit of salt. All oh, right. Okay. So that can be pre-booked, can yeah, it? That can be pre-booked. Right. If that's great. Safety, if you cancel anyone like that, would give you a visit. And is it automated? So this salt is not automated. We have got the salts that are automated. Because in September 21, you had a new uh, managing director here, didn't you? We've got a managing director of the company. Isn't yeah. So, it, it was appointed in September, and um, yeah, 100 people are employed here, aren't they? Approximately. Yeah. Yeah. yeah but I've been reading it all. It goes up and down as per. Obviously peak. Yeah. So yeah. We don't peak times. All right. Well, maybe just just be a bit more polite to me in next time. Where, where's where's your where's your SIA license? It needs to be on display. Where is it? Okay. Okay. Just calm down. I'm just checking. Yeah. Well, you, you can be a bit more polite as well. I think it's just worried that obviously you've done a potentially enter site or record site, which. Yeah. On my unannounced visits, we see people's true colours and I get a true reflection of what the company's like. A 30 minute video goes online for everyone to see. I do loads of these. I put one video out per day. It goes on YouTube and Facebook. So what, what's happened, my experience of my visit here today will be shown. You've been great. So yeah, I'll let you get back to work. I'm, I'm no security threat. I'm not coming on. And I did tell you that, that I weren't coming on. You walked up to my gate and that's it. 
That's my side. Yeah, you know, yes. That's for a booking. If they have a booking reference, you have to have a reason for being on site. Yep. Other than that, so I didn't go past the barrier. I simply. The trucks coming in there, so we have to yeah, but you've put a pedestrian walkway for a reason. That's where you class in pedestrians to be safe. Yeah. So I stayed there. Yeah. Anybody? Yeah. Yeah. Anybody can record in any publicly accessible area. Yeah. And that's just the law. But yeah. I'll, so now you know what I'm about. Thanks for your time. Thank You've got you. better things to be doing. Thank you so much. You don't want to Thank shake you. my hand a lot. <laughs> that's Thank fine. You. That's fine. Thank you. So there we go. All explained. What do you think to him though, eh? On the right. What do you think to him? So he called for backup. It was a bit, uh, a bit panicky, weren't he? But we did retreat. We didn't want to ruin his day too much. But anyway, let's get the drone out and see what this place looks like from above. So we're still in that Birmingham CTR, which does not apply to a 249 gram DJI Mini 2, which is what we fly here. Security have still got that barrier open. <laughs> Let's go and have a look at this fulfillment warehouse. Europa Worldwide Group, here in Minworth, Sutton Coldfield. So now we know the, uh, the great safety measures that they're going, going to here. The block at the end will stop the truck from actually hooking it up. The blocks on the wheels will stop it from rolling forward, even if he did hook it up. <laughs> or the, uh, the air brake failed. So the guys, and they've also got the, uh, the red and green traffic light system. Can we see one from here, just in the middle? That tells them whether it's uh, clear to take or not. So yeah, brilliant to see. I love seeing these different safety features. truck there. Oh, we've got a low battery already. We'll just quickly get a quick look. We're very, very close to the drone. So yeah, splitting out all the waste, look, all different coloured bins. Nothing to see on that side of the building. No solar panels. What's that there? One solar panel for something. I'm not sure what. And they're using uh, blue pallets, red pallets, and the normal ones. And something that we've got to do before we bring the drone back is look in the skip. We've got wood there clearly, metal there clearly, and mixed clearly. A nice little uh, skip there for mix. So great things. Europa, you should be proud of your building here. Absolutely proud of it. See ya. Nice little uh, video about Europa Worldwide Group. Let's bring the drone down. Am I all right? Yeah, what's going on? Making a video. Of what? Where are you from? Oh, right, whereabouts? From my little state. It's private land. Yeah, public accessible. But you're driving over our, our land and you're trying are to- Are you telling me you're part of Europa? What, what do you mean, your land then? Like the land around here. Yeah? What's wrong with that? I don't think you're allowed over there. It could be a potential outlet zone. Don't you don't think? You'll find out. I know, I know I am. Yeah. I won't do it if I, if I weren't. You're a professional driver. Try again. Professional driver. Try again? It's not driving in. Who are we? Come on, you got it. When you're, just when trying you, to find out what you're doing. When you're approaching a member of the public, at least know what you're talking about. I'm it's a pilot, isn't it? I'm a pilot. And I'm it's, a member of the public as well. You must be representing at one of these businesses around here. So is it my job to find out which one? Yeah? Let's have a, let's have a look at you then. Yeah, so you've got a steel toe caps, haven't you? So you yeah. must be a warehouse guy. Yeah, what, what is it? Yeah, yeah well, you, you I just want to find out what you're doing. Well, if it was your company or you had any vested interest in what I'm doing, then I can certainly talk to you. But what has it got to do with you? Do you know what I mean? Just, just tell me, no, that's, tell me, that's tell me, valid, that's valid. tell I'm me it's got something to do with you, valid and then argument. we'll talk. I'm not, I'm not arguing, I'm just interested in what you're doing. 
Simple yeah, though. and yeah. we do explain to the people that need to know. Okay, okay that's fine. Yeah, thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'd love to tell you more. No, that's fine. If you, if but, you, like, that's fine. you know, you. client confidentiality, all that lot. Yeah. Okay. What, are you from a company or anything like that? I can, if you tell me where you're from, yeah. then I'll come to your site. Okay. And then... Can I have a card then? So I can arrange something. If you tell me what, I'm actually, not actually, to do that. What, it's not something I'm allowed to do. Okay, what I'll do as yeah. a member of the public, yeah. I'll follow you back to to work, yeah. and then we'll talk. Okay. Because then I'll find out where. <laughs> I'll, what what I'm doing, like what I'm doing, I could do. No, what, that's all I want. What I'm what doing for these, yeah, it's a voluntary service. Mm -hmm. They might not like it, mm -hmm. but it happens. Because when you're on a publicly accessible area, regardless of who owns it, okay. it's got a cycle path for God's sake. They encourage people to come here to exercise. So. I think that might be for the cycle to work scheme. <laughs> but there's, yeah. there's an app that tells you um, where you can go. Yeah, and, and if it's not gated, then it's publicly yeah. accessible. So okay. does this does this um, industrial estate have on-site security for the whole complex? Uh, I think they've got something like a, a walk around, like a drive around. Through right. The right. I don't it's, know. it's his job yeah. to talk to me about reasons why he could ask me to leave. So like if you was... Um, I'm not asking you to leave, no, by all means. I'll just I'm explain not, though, because it's a topic of conversation. Do you know if I was doing my, uh, driving my car and handbrake turning and stuff like that, yeah. showing disrespect for the landowner's land, yeah. that's a reason for them to ask you to leave. But photography certainly isn't. No, but it's different, isn't it? You don't see it every day. It's just something I was interested in. Yeah. Somebody told me, I was like, oh, I'll go and have a look what he's doing. Also, someone's told you, so you're from DHL? I've just, I've just been to visit DHL. Yeah. How do they find it there? Oh, it's, photography is not a crime, is it? So. No, it's just some people might think if you go in their yards and you no? just crash the drone into their trucks while they're driving or their people. It's one of those It's one of those things that somebody's going to ask, isn't it? That's do you what? know how much a bird weighs? Feel, feel the weight of that. Do you still, think that... Do you think that, wouldn't it? <laughs> do you think birds are about that weight? A bird, a bird is, is lighter than that. But, but it's, it's not, not as uh, easy. dense, is it? <laughs> it depends what type of birds. On the top of your head, what would you say in grams this way is? No, I've no idea. idea. I know much just just roughly. I couldn't even compare. 249 grams. grams. Yeah. So it's, it's light, isn't it? It's still it's hurt. Yeah. <laughs> there are birds heavier than this. I'm telling you, it's still hurt. Okay. That's, yeah. Dog said, somebody's informed me and I was interested. I thought, what? what's he doing? Yeah. But, yeah. Yeah, the Civil Aviation Authority, they regulate the airspace. So we all have to play by their rules. And when you're in the airspace, if you've got a 249 gram drone, they make it that, they didn't make it 251, they made it 249 gram for That's a reason. Got that there, for a reason, right? So you can do it. Oh yes, so this can actually go over houses, warehouses, parks, they can go anywhere. They can't go over prisons, because they could drop drugs, and they can't go over airports, because they could go into the engines and cause a massive problem. So- But I wouldn't know that. No, no. That's something you've looked into, you've yeah. sort of studied, or yeah. you'd have no idea. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know yeah. what I mean? So that's why I can know that. But then when people do talk, I mean, if security want to, to learn about, if they want to talk to me with respect and actually say, right, just, just explain to me then. And have you experienced how, that? How, right, can, it be, how my, can it become legal? From my point of view, I'm not sure about this guy, but I'm a customer of Europa. So I'm, I'm here today because Europa do work for us. So I, that's really. Yeah, when word was out somebody was flying a, a drone yeah, around, that's yeah. why I wanted to know well, what it was you were doing. In September 2021, they appointed a new, um, I think it's general manager or director mm -hmm. here, um, yeah. and they employ 100, 100 staff, and it's like a fulfillment warehouse. And yeah. from what I can see from the publicly accessible areas, is do you know those blocks that are on the end of the trailers? Yes. They would stop a, a, a tractor unit, hooking up to that accidentally. They've even got blocks under the wheels. All from leaving. Yep, yep. When there might be people still loading or unloading on there. So it's an amazing safety feature. Normally people rely on just the red and green light. Or as key control process. Yeah, yeah. And there is also, um, when the airline's disconnected, the brakes go on the trailers. So they're actually safe anyway. They didn't need the, the chocks and the, the stop there at the end. But because they've done that, they've been extra safe. Mm -hmm. And you don't see that very often. So these are the type of things I'm looking at. With the drone, you, I can see that you're splitting out your waste. I'm, I'll take it, because you, you've told that's me. That's good to know. Yeah, could, really, yeah. Because you're an, a customer, I'm going to tell you a bit about it now. Okay, so the, they're splitting out the waste. They've got a metal skip, a wood skip, and a mixed recycling skip. It's amazing to see. 
not everyone's doing it that's great they've also got different types of pallets from not using any old pallet which cost a fortune when they didn't need it so they're being very very resourceful they're using money wisely here and they're very safe very clean site um, there, obviously there, there's, I can't tell you the bad things but that's a great thing okay the, so let's that's just uh, so that's what you're, you're that's so the you're gist looking, of you're it looking at good and bad things so yeah. if I want to know the bad just where, look at the video where would I find the video when you've done it on okay. it, I'm not going to give you this I'm just going to tell you the name of, of, of what I it's an audit and I'm DJ audits right so if you type into Google DJ audits, I'm everywhere. Right, okay. So it's a voluntary yeah. service. It's all right, I'm just a passerby. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he approached me earlier and I just film anybody that's approaching. Right. This, we're, we're filming this now. Uh, we're in public, we're just filming public. We, we use our, our knowledge and our drone to have a look at what's good and what's bad about interesting places. Okay. So that's that's it. it. That's simple as that. Yeah. So when, but, when, but, when will you have something up that have a look at uh, this one maybe interest. maybe about four days time okay it'll go on Facebook and YouTube on the same day and there is an app you know how you've got an, an aircraft there yeah um, normally you have to stay away from flight paths and stuff but there's this app called drone assist everybody can download it free of charge and it shows you where you are so you see that pin there mm -hmm. so you are not allowed to fly within these areas because like, that's a, um, a flight restriction zone here mm -hmm. you see that okay. but, but in the outside area where we are right now it's a ctr now a controlled traffic region doesn't apply luckily to a 249 gram drone yeah. and the civil aviation authority have also specified that so there's there's lots of things and i always take a screenshot because as shown on drone assist us there we are in a non restriction zone or right. a CTR. So we're always covering ourselves. Please come. Even we educate the police about drone laws, about photography in public. We just don't want to go on your site. And his job is to stop me from coming on. I don't know why he's not letting the vehicle go. But anyway, okay. it might be because I'm here. So I, I feel like I'm now um, affecting the operation. I'm going to move on. Okay. It's a pleasure to talk to you. Right, thank, thank you. you. Just okay. for is, there, is there anything I should be concerned about for the for the video in four days? Just him, just security. Just level of professionalism of the security staff to a member of the public. Right. And the out barrier just remained up far too long. Right. Thank you for Thank you. Okay, bye bye. Sorry? Have you watched it? Let me give you a key ring. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Take the key ring. There you go, my friend. <laughs> He's trying to get a photo. <laughs> uh. Take care, my friend. Good to see you. So what a way to end the video, eh? The driver that's leaving in the Transcentral lorry. There's a viewer and he got a keyring, but the naughty bugger tried to take a photo. <laughs> See, I think the guys that there that we were talking to there on the GoPro, they're definitely high up in this uh, Europa company and they are walking to the left there. So as we ride past on a bike, we'll see which entrance they go into and we'll leave this one here. So if you have enjoyed that video, give it a thumbs up for me and I'll see you on the next one, guys. Bye bye for now. Let's go see what door they go in. Take care, guys. Thank you very much, mate. Yeah. See you later. Definitely from Europa. <laughs>